Love is in the air. Love is in the air. <clears throat> Don't quit your daytime YouTube channel. Today I'm making two cocktails suitable for Valentine's Day. But could you have these cocktails at any other time of the year? Probably. One is stirred and boozy, the other one is what I like to call easy drinking but with a spicy kick. Let's make a chocolate boulevardier and better than gold. Okay, so no history lesson today, but I do want to touch on the importance of knowing your classic cocktails. Because if you know them and understand why they work, it's pretty easy to turn them into your own creations. Why is this important? Well, if you're a home bartender and want to switch things up, it definitely helps. And if you're a working bartender, you obviously should know your classic cocktails. And when you do, it can help you create new cocktails that most likely will help your career. That's actually how many of today's bartenders became famous. Take Phil Ward, for example. He created the final Ward and the Oaxaca Old Fashioned. I wonder what classic cocktails inspired him. Hmm, I wonder. And there's nothing wrong with that. And if you don't know any of these cocktails or how they were connected, I'll explain at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Another trick if you want your cocktails to be more well known is to keep it fairly simple. Like Sam Ross says, use readily available ingredients and keep it not too complicated. This way it's easy for people to recreate your cocktails and you'll reach a wider audience. For the chocolate boulevardier, so just to be perfectly clear, a boulevardier is a classic cocktail and I'm just doing it with a little bit of a twist and adding creme de cacao in there. So what you need for this chocolate boulevardier is your favorite bourbon, a sweet vermouth, Campari, and I talk about Campari in plenty of my videos, like all of these. So I'm going to put links down below so you can watch them after this video, because Campari is something that you need to have in your home bar. For my chocolate boulevardier, we need chocolate of some sort, so I'm going to use my creme de cacao. And creme de cacao has no cream in it. Creme does not refer to cream. It just means that it has a higher sugar content. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially in a liqueur, because a liqueur, by definition, has sugar in it. And then I'm also going to add a couple of dashes of orange bitters. Now I'm gonna put this over here. So for the second cocktail, Better Than Gold, which is actually one of my own creations, you're gonna need a tequila, uh, I'm using Casa Dragones, creme de cacao that we just talked about, so I'm using this in both cocktails, some fresh lime juice, some house-made grenadine, and I know that grenadine might be like, oh, it's not readily available and it's hard to make, but it's not, and I have a short video on it, this one, or I'll post it down below, but you need to make your own grenadine. It's super easy, trust me. And then a couple of drops of a chili tincture. Chili tincture, once again, that might sound like an ingredient that is like, oh no, um, do, I, do I make a chili tincture? Well, I made a video on that too, and it is super easy, and this will last forever. Two dashes of orange bitters. I'll be doing four dashes because the dash that I'm using. Quarter ounce of creme de cacao. Half an ounce of Campari. And can somebody please send me a new bottle of this? I'm out of it. Thanks a lot. I mean, literally, I'm out of it. Thank you. Three quarter ounce of sweet vermouth. And one and a half ounce of your bourbon. You start with half an ounce of grenadine. Half an ounce of creme de cacao. Three quarter ounce of your fresh lime juice. One and a half ounce of your tequila. A couple of drops of your chili tincture. Add a little extra if you like it extra spicy.
and I'm just gonna go over the top garnishing this cocktail. All right, so I'm gonna explain what I was talking about earlier in the video about the cocktails. Phil Ward created a cocktail called The Final Ward. There is a classic cocktail, very popular, called The Last Word. In The Last Word, you have gin, maraschino, chartreuse, and lime juice. In his version, The Final Ward, which is a play on the last word and his last name, if that makes any sense, he uses rye whiskey, chartreuse, maraschino, and lemon juice. So he basically just switched out the base spirit from gin to rye, and the citrus from lime to lemon. And then you have the Oaxaca Old Fashioned, and the name kind of gives away where it gets its inspiration from. So in a regular Old Fashioned, you have whiskey sugar bitters, just like the name of my channel. In his version, he uses Reposado tequila and a little bit of mezcal as the base spirit instead of whiskey. And then he uses agave as the sweetener and bitters, but it's the same idea. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Better Than Gold. The reason why I named it Better Than Gold was because when I researched the cocoa bean, I found out that the Aztecs or the Mayans, or maybe both, they considered the cocoa bean more valuable than gold. So, I thought it was a cool name for a cocktail. Let's see, I don't wanna poke my eyes out with these pineapple fronds. Get out, get out. Ugh. This is really delicious, if I may say so myself. The combination of uh, pomegranate and the spicy chocolate, if you will, is to me just really, really tasty and it works really well with tequila. It's fruity, it's spicy, it's chocolatey, it's easy drinking, it's, I don't know, it's fantastic. You gotta try this. Okay, so this, I knew I was gonna love this, but then again, I know that I love Boulevardiers. A regular Boulevardier is just bourbon, Campari, and sweet vermouth. Simple, fantastic, a little bit bitter and boozy. Just the way I like it. In this one, obviously it's the same thing, but you just add a little bit of creme de cacao just to get that, not creamy, but rounder, sweeter, uh, chocolatey flavor to it. And it's, it works really well. This, this is like having a sip of a delicious bitter chocolate, if you will. Cheers, happy Valentine's. Be nice to each other.